came here to visit a friend's child. And when you walk in the door, you could see that everybody cared. They all care. And I remembered that. When uh, I had some more time on my hands, I said, you know what? That might not be a bad place to be. I personally believe everyone should volunteer. There are so many benefits to the individual. To me, it inspires me, and I think I help to inspire others by volunteering. You're giving your time, you're giving your talents, but what you get in return is just so rewarding and fulfilling and satisfying. The reason I chose to volunteer at the hospital was it gives me an opportunity to be with children. I found that you know, regardless of how sick the children are, in their hearts they're still children. They still want to be listened to, they still want to be loved. I specifically focus on a program called Baby Bookworm, and this is a program that's about language nutrition and exposing children to books and sounds. But as you start reading to the child, it's really interesting to see the reactions from some of these children. You know, their eyes will open, you know, they'll turn their head to look at you, you know, you'll get a smile, but they know you're there. Wednesday is the favorite day of the week for me because I'm at the hospital on Wednesday and I've loved every day and every minute of it since 2002. It makes my week. Andrea, who was at that point the director of volunteers, said, would you like to read? A friend of mine would like to have reading done here through Read Aloud Delaware. I said, yes, yes. So that was the beginning of Read Aloud Delaware at the hospital. I'm part of the Read Aloud program. So I read to children a variety of different ages. What keeps coming back is the family's appreciation. They're so appreciative of me reading a book to a, a young person instead of looking at their phone, looking at the TV, and it just kind of helps the time to melt away. card I find to be a lot of fun. Uh, the concept is so parents don't have to leave their child's room to go downstairs for that first cup in the morning. We provide it to them. Many people have said to me, even some of the nurses on the floor, that I have the best job in the hospital because everybody's happy to see me <laughs> when I show up early in the morning and offer them coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. And that is a very rewarding experience because of the gratitude and the expressions of joy just delivering a simple thing like a cup of coffee can bring to, to people's faces. As a physician, how do I see the role of volunteers? How do they add to the organization? And I can say it's immeasurable. I see that every day. I've gotten to know some of the volunteers. They're a very self-selected group of people, very kind of, you know, have a positive attitude. They serve not only as volunteers for the patients and families, but I think of also, they help support the staff, which is a tremendous thing to see. Working with the volunteers was very, very rewarding. They come with experience. Um, they come with a good work ethic. They're just, they're awesome. They really are awesome. I think volunteers contribute to the culture in that they are an extension of us as associates. They fulfill those things that we do in addition to what we do. We couldn't do what we do without the volunteers that we have.
being here nine years, I have seen a, a lot of the impact of the auxiliary and the volunteers working in the hospital. Little things such as the fun of being a volunteer, doing the flash mobs, having those fun things, I think that's really important for our whole community. have fun. We have fun. And one of the things we do is bingo! That's right. And the kids get to play a hospital version of bingo where we explain to them all the different things that they see and hear in the hospital don't necessarily have to hurt. And once they're familiar with it, it becomes a little bit easier for them to deal with it when they have to see that as part of their recovery or treatment. Every day, you know, you walk out, I think, energized. And the volunteers that I work with, I think, feel the exact same way. When you walk in, you're greeted with warmth. You're treated with respect. You're surrounded by dedicated people. It just gives you a great, great feeling to be a part of this hospital. I volunteer because I like people and like to be with them. And I think that's really why. I do it. There's nothing like being in the hospital, going around with your red jacket on, and having people smile at you and you smile back at them. It's the smiles. That's why people should come. And for the feeling after you finish, it really makes your day. I think the relationships that the volunteers have with the staff and the families here in the hospital is what keeps them coming back every week. I think they get as much out of coming here to volunteer as they give, and they do give a lot. This has helped me see healthcare from a patient perspective. I think any time that you are able to see both sides of a coin, you are going to have a richer experience and perspective for anything that you do. You know, it's funny, people always say that you come in here and you think you have problems and you leave here realizing you have no problems. It's very grounding, very grounding and very gratifying. It just makes you feel like you have such a warm feeling in your heart and it's just something that I think everybody needs to feel and you're not gonna know it until you do it, actually do it. You have so very, very few moments in this life to make a little bit of a difference and as small as that difference may be, those little moments, those little gestures, that makes you feel really good. You should volunteer, you should get involved.